Good morning children in this session we shall go through lesson 10 the pushyabhuti dynasty around 6th century AD the gupta empire became weak and started disintegrating this caused many kingdoms to rise up and flourish among them a new power emerged in northern india which was known as the pushyabhuti dynasty or the vardhan dynasty so the vardhana or pushyabhuti dynasty began to rule in 6th century the first ruler of vardhana dynasty was prabhakar vardhan prabhakar vardhana had two sons and a daughter his sons were rajavardhana and harshvardhana and his daughter was rajshree let's know about harshvardhana harshvardhana ascended the throne at the age of 16 after the death of his father and his elder brother harshvardhan 16 varsh ki ayu mein singhasan par baithe he was a great scholar his famous works were nagananda ratnavali and priyadarshika let's do about the administration of vardhana kingdom for the purpose of governance the kingdom was divided into bhukti vishyas and villages Let's know some more important information about Harshvardhana. The early capital of Vardha dynasty was Thaneshwar. Later, he made Kannauj his capital. Harsha had an inclination towards Buddhism. Buddhism given prominences by King Harsha means. बुद्ध धर्म को हर्ष के द्वारा प्रमुखता दी गई या शोहरत दी गई दिस इज सीन इवन द राइटिंग्स ऑफ हुन सॉन्ग लेट्स नो अबाउट हुन सॉन्ग हुन सॉन्ग वॉज द चाइनीज ट्रेवलर हु विजिटेड इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ हर्षा ही रोड दैट हर्षा ऑर्गेनाइज अ ग्रैंड रिलीजियस असेंबली एट कन्नौज and he used to donate everything at an interval of every 5 years at prayag kumbh mela means harshvardhan har 5 varsh ke interval mein prayag ke kumbh mele mein aate the aur apna sab kuch logon ki bhalai ke liye daan kar dete the it proves that harsh was really a great philanthropist That's all for today children goodbye